Welcome everybody to another video of Ancient Greece Reloaded. Today we will talk about the famous Erotas, the gods of love and Aphrodite's Justice League of Love. By the way, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so to stay tuned for upcoming videos. Why do things yourself when you have the help of your devoted staff? At least Aphrodite, the goddess of love in Greek mythology, looked at things that way. Distributing love to millions is at all order to fill, much less maintaining all of that to make sure that no one is losing that love and feeling at any given time. Doing what any self-respecting goddess would do, Aphrodite employed her own kiddos, but were god heiress of all people, to assist her in her love-fueled duties. Following her around at all times and taking marching orders of love and passion was her lawyer retinue, known as Erotas. This group of winged young mini godlings was fiercely loyal to the goddess of love and acted as her constant travel companions and trusted lieutenants. Each Erota had a specific area in the love department that he specialized in, and together they symbolized the full spread of the big L across the ancient Greek world. They all have very similar characteristics, portrayed as every winged male minor gods, sometimes shown as sly and rapunctious teenage males. In later years, the images of young teenage attendants of Aphrodite were replaced by the chubby, naked and jolly winged infants that people know today as cupids. Their numbers vary depending on the story being told, but most tell of at least four erotas. The following are the main erotas described in the stories in more detail. Aphrodite's boys, the main squad. Eros, god of emotional love. Eros was the original, primordial god of love and intercourse. He was also worshipped as a fertility deity. In later myths, he was the son of the deities Aphrodite and Ares. It is the Eros of these later myths who is one of the erotas. Anderos, god of requited love. Literally, love returned or counterpart love. He punished those who scorned love and the advances of others and was the adventure of an unrequited love. Edilogos, god of sweet talk and flattery. Hermaphroditos, god of hermaphrodites, effeminacy and androgyny. He was the son of Herms and Aphrodite. Born as a remarkable handsome boy, but after the water nymph Salmakis fell in love with him and she prayed to be united forever, their two forms merged into one. Imeros, god of desire and unrequited love. Imeros was identified by his carrying Athenia, a colorful headband worn by athletes. He is described in Hesiod's Theogony as being born alongside Aphrodite. Imeneos or Imen, god of weddings and marriage. Pothos, god of yearning and wanting. Pothos was as one of Aphrodite's erotas and brother to Imeros and Eros. In some versions of the myth, Pothos is the son of Eros or is portrayed as an independent aspect of him. In the temple of Aphrodite at Megara, there was a sculpture that represented Pothos together with Eros and Imeros, which has been credited to Scopas. Pothos is a name for the white Asphodelus albus flower used at funerals. Let us finish with the following saying. Wise is he who knows useful things, not he who knows many things. As he lose. That being said, remember guys to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel, it would help us a lot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.